much it is. What do you want? Well, I thought you'd like to know I made a mistake. Now, Wainwright's not the killer. He's the next victim. The killer is called uh, Richard Paris. Listen to me, Gladys. Because of you, I have an astrologer who humiliates me and a chief constable who hates me. Well, I'm sorry. I just... Go away. Never cross my path again or so help me God, I'll have you framed for murder. Nice one, Gladys. Well, I suppose we'll just have to see right ourselves. I preferred it when you wanted him dead. But if I save his life, he'll wish he was dead. <laughs> I don't believe this. We're trying to save him and he has us thrown out. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope. It's a perfect and very typical Libra. Christopher Reeve, who plays Superman, has always been a leader of men. At school, he was captain of everything. At 22, he starred with Catherine Hepburn on Broadway, and a year later, he was playing Superman. Thank you, Rita. Now, we can see in his chart he has five planets in his sign. The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Saturn, and Neptune, all pointing to a strong desire to please the driving force <coughs> of many actors. <laughs> In the chart of Jeremy Irons, however, we find that Jupiter, the planet of good fortune and expansion, is involved in an extremely harmonious grand trine with Pluto, the moon, and midheaven. Now, since Jeremy is a striving and ambitious individual, we will probably see him spread his talents into many and diverse areas. And because of the strong Scorpio-Pluto emphasis in his chart, he will always be very emotionally committed to everything he does. Gladys, come on. Photography and the film business embody the principle of Neptune in the glamorous, unreal aura that surround those involved in films. However, this same Neptune can wreak havoc in your private life. So, beware, ladies and gentlemen. All those stars that shine in the movie firmament are probably having a rotten time in real life. Well, that concludes the formal part of my lecture. I'd now like to throw open the floor to questions. Anything you like uh, to do with your stars, of course. Now, I am available for more personal readings all day tomorrow at my usual fee. And thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Now let's see if we can get the ball rolling with the questions. Someone must have a question. Anyone? Don't be shy. Come along. Yes, yes, the lady over here. Do the eyes of people like Paul Newman have anything to do with their astrological strength? That's a very good question. As we all know, if you appear on films and television, as indeed I do myself from time to time, it's very useful if you have clear and honest eyes. Mr. Newman and myself are both very fortunate in that sense. <laughs> now, whether that has anything to do with some sort of inner integrity is hard to tell, but I do know that Mr. Newman and myself both have Jupiter rising in Taurus, which does suggest some we sort of speak. inner spiritual strength and intestinal health and fortitude, for as we all know, the eyes are not only the windows of the soul, but also of the stomach. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Does it? Good. Now, do we have another question? One more? Yes, the lady over there, what's your question? What's the star of fortune? What are you doing here? 
What is the star of fortune? The star? I don't know what you mean. Well, you should do. Because when you were Jim Wright of Ramsgate, you told everyone that they had the star of fortune in the palm of their hands. You told everyone that life would be wonderful. You told them all to live recklessly, to gamble, to leave their homes, leave their wives. What did you do at the end of the day? You went down to the pub and laughed about all these poor bugs who believed you. You were a cheap little chiseler and you wrecked a lot of lives with your lousy star of fortune. You were a bastard, Jim Wright. Would you be good enough to ask one of the guards to escort this lady from the ball? Trevor, what are you doing here? You're looking for someone in the audience. Why? Yeah. I'll tell you later, babe. Trust me, all right? going on. It would seem I owe you a debt of gratitude. Mm. For the rest of your life. Although, strictly speaking, perhaps uh, to your son. Ah, uh, well, we're a partnership. What's his is mine, and what's mine is mostly mine. Well, I think that this would be a very good moment for me to consider a uh, change of scenery. A sabbatical. Ramsgate. I think Rita might prefer Antigua. What a good idea. Um, a favor, as one professional to another. Oh, do tell. As you appreciate, I operate a rather more high-profile business than yourself, and I felt that if we could perhaps play down your contribution, as it were, to this fiasco... Mr. Wainwright, you are so naive. 